What is up, YouTube? Thrift School over here, and I have a bunch of really cool things that I picked up from Goodwill and, and a couple other thrift stores, and I just wanted to show you guys some of the things, show you guys some of the brands. Hopefully, this will help you find these brands, think of these brands, see the price points I'm paying for these items. Uh, we're mainly going to go over clothing because a lot of the hard goods that I picked up, I've already sent off to Amazon. Been working like a dog these past few days, but I'm going to grab the bag. It's sitting right here. And there we go. And I do have uh, multiple other uh, bags. So we, I see 826 Junior in the house, KG, they're already commenting. What's up? What's up? So let's get right into it. We're going to start off with this first bag right here. And now I didn't even look up a lot of these things. When you're picking up clothing, you kind of don't have to always look everything up. You could just grab based off of brands that you know, things that look interesting, cool styles, things like that, and just kind of hope they sell. Or if you've sold a brand enough, you kind of know. Uh, with hard goods, a lot of times you, you have to scan them. Who knows if that coffee filter is going for a certain amount of money or that air filter or whatever, right? So the first item we have here is this really cool vintage USA champion hat. Check that out. And on the side, it says AT&T official sponsor. Really cool hat. I only paid two bucks for it. So I figured for two bucks, this has got to be worth some money, right? It's got to be. It's cool. It's vintage. Champion was in a little while ago. I think Nautica is in now. Things are always changing. But I believe this is still cool enough to where it will sell for a decent amount of money. What do I think it's going to sell for? I would probably guesstimate somewhere between $20 and $30. It might be more, it might be less. But I'm probably going to price it on the higher end, probably $29.99, and just take it from there. i move my mouse so I don't accidentally click on anything. All right, next up, we have this right here, which this is actually pretty nice. This is a vest, and I love picking up vests. Why did something look bad on the camera? Oh thought there was a hole on here, but there's no hole. That's good. That is good to know. Uh, the brand is a brand that I never pick up. A lot of people used to talk about this brand. I I don't really have good luck with it. Brooks Brothers. Um, now, it was $5, but the reason why I picked it up is because it's 100% extra fine merino wool. That will sell closer to winter, which we are coming up on. And also, it is a sweater vest. I have always had luck with sweater vests. Um, when it comes to Brooks Brothers, the main things that I actually sell are their button-up sweater vests, and those seem to sell near instantly for me with, you know, less than a week, and they sell for, I believe, between $30 and $35, so I figured this right here, $25 to $30, bucks, no problem, only paid $5. Next, uh, great brand, guys, an, an awesome brand, should sell pretty fast. Brand right here, let's see if we can unbutton this top button. There we go. Brand right here is Cool, K-U-H-L, and this is just a really nice button up there is one of the logos right there if you ever see that, and it should also say it down below. They usually have their logo in three or more places, so there it is, and um, uh, definitely something that you'll notice, let's say you're just flipping through the racks, if you notice metal buttons, so I think all Cool shirts, K-U-H-L, has these metal buttons, and uh, that's always an indicator, and they also say the brand name on them, but I've only ever seen this brand of shirt with metal buttons before. Um, not saying that they don't, but I'm just saying keep an eye out for that. I only paid five bucks for that. That should easily, uh, I'd say that should easily bring in 25, possibly 30, but easily 25 bucks. Next we have a brand it's kind of dipped in value recently but i pick it up when the price is right uh it's hard to see but i'm sure you guys can guess what this is it's north face let's see if there oh there we go there's a little logo right there the north face everybody knows this brand now who knows what happened to the tag on this thing i don't even see a tag so what did i pay for it i have no not a clue i don't know what happened to the tag uh, i wouldn't have paid any more than five dollars for this so let five dollars or less should sell for around 20 25 dollars all right we got a few more people in the house coming in very cool very cool okay let's uh move on to this now what was i just talking about guys sweater vests especially ones with buttons 
The ones with buttons are great. And this is, you know, five bucks. But this is one of my favorite brands right here. Peter Millar. Bang. Size XL. 100% merino wool for five bucks. Always check for holes. When you're picking up wool, you got to make sure that there's no holes. But that's how it looks. It's plain gray. So it is a little boring. It might take a little bit longer to sell. But I'm just kind of thinking because winter, Christmas coming up, I really think that... I really think it'll sell and I see people asking questions I will answer questions at the very end so if you do have questions put them all in the chat right now I am live streaming okay so now I was kind of confused with this I thought it was fake but it's I don't think it is cause I, <clears throat> I saw similar ones on eBay this was also five dollars the brand is Brooks Brothers like I showed you guys earlier but it's a different style of logo now take a look at that uh, chest piece right there it says BBRC and it's a rugby style shirt. And I've seen similar ones like this online. Not 100% sure what it's going to go for. I'm hoping around 30 But because it's so unique, I think it should be totally awesome. Next, we have another sweater vest, I believe. Yeah. Um, now, this is a brand that I've actually sold before. And I know it will sell for a good amount of money. Um, looks like it, the tag's starting to come off a little bit. But that's okay. Uh, this is 100% pure cashmere. And cashmere does better than wool, guys, for me. There's the brand, Braemir, B-R-A-E-M-A-R. Three bucks, green, sweater vest, plain, but the fact that it's 100% cashmere should help it sell for between 20 and 25 bucks. Next, oh, this feels nice. This feels really nice. This is 100% pure cashmere. It is another sweater vest. But the key factor with this, well, also the brand is Peter Millar, right there, size XL. The cool thing about this, guys, is we can do this. Come on. There we go. It's a zipper. Take a look at that. Zip up does extraordinarily well. Zip up and button up. When you're getting just plain sweater vests, they don't do amazing. Um, but when you have a, I mean, they, they still sell. But when you have something with a zipper with buttons, it's going to go so much faster and for more money. All right. Next, a brand that I never pick up anymore because I have a hard time moving it. I think all of mine are just priced too high. Um, but the brand is Tommy Bahama. And guys, since I never pick up this brand anymore, why would I pay 10 bucks for a Tommy Bahama? Well, it's... You know, it's pretty nice. It's long sleeve, has some embroidery on it. I know it's hard, the camera's not really picking it up, but the main reason why I paid 10 bucks for it is it's a size XL, but it's brand new with tags. The tags say $120, and it's 80% silk, 20% cotton. Now, I just figured because it's brand new with tags, because it's a large size, and because it's mostly silk, I believe I can get around that $50 mark for it. I Usually when I have something brand new with tags when it comes to Tommy Bahama, they still move pretty well. And I do get around that $40 mark, a little bit higher. But I am going to price this higher since that new with tags, which I'm going to show in the picture, shows $120 right on it. So I think if I can price it around $79.99 or best offer, I should be able to move it. Um, we'll see because Tommy Bahama has not been moving lately. There are way too many people selling it. And then I picked up a couple video games right here. The first one is this Lego Batman. And look at the guys. It's brand new sealed. I paid five bucks. The next one that's brand new sealed is Blue Dragon. Now, I don't really recall what these are going for. And this is exactly why um, you got to scan a lot of things. Because I don't know what sealed versions of games are going for. I kind of have an idea um, when I see a game. Not necessarily. Ooh, guys, take a look at that. Check those sales out today. Seven sales for 411 dollars. So not too bad. I mean, that's a pretty high average sale price. So let's scan these bad boys in and see what they're going for. So Lego Batman, I paid $5 for. Uh, lowest price is $21.98, so I'd make $10 after fees. But let's see, there's a bunch at $21.98. So that's kind of where the price is right now. So I'll make 10 bucks, and then this game, Blue Dragon, was four dollars. See what this guy is going for. Uh, this one's going for much more. 
This game right here is going for $55.35, but let's check the others. Um, there's two people at that price and then somebody at 60. I'm thinking with Christmas coming up, I've been holding on to a lot of video games, guys, a lot of them, because the prices just aren't right right now, but I've still been buying them. So let's say, um, like I have a game right here, Xenoblade Chronicles X. This game usually goes up in value around Christmas, and I got it for dirt cheap. I forgot how many dollars, just a few bucks. And that right now is at around a $20 game, I believe. I could scan it in for you guys. And it's not worth it. It is worth it for me to send in. But if I just wait a month or so, two months, when the prices start to go up, then you're looking at, you know, more money. So let's take a look. Used right now, this game is going for $23.68. So that's $16 after fees. That's a good price. So... The main reason why I'm not sending it in is just to hold off a little bit until Christmas. Get that, you know, it, if it's selling for, what, 23 right now, maybe around Christmas they'll be going for 35 to 40 I see games jump like that all the time. Uh, so I do that a lot. I just sold my sealed Lego Batman on eBay for 22 bucks. Wow, very, very, very cool. All right, so let's, um, that was all the clothing. I'm actually going to put the clothing, I'm going to keep the games out. So I'm going to put them on a shelf. Um, but I'm going to put the clothing back into the bag, and we're actually going to grab one more bag. Uh, I want to show you guys one more bag full of stuff, because I actually do have, I actually have a few more bags uh, that I haven't really gone through. Because the clothing kind of sits, I list clothing like a few pieces a day here and there. All the hard goods, right when I buy them, I try to send them out as fast as possible. It doesn't always happen. See all those records right there? Yeah, those all need to be tested. Um... I know most of them are good because they're returns from Amazon because the ranks were too high. So I was going to be listing a lot of them as merchant fulfilled. Um, but, ah, crap, my dog needs to be let in real quick. Ah, mm, uh, okay, I'm going to let her in. I'll be right back. Okay, okay, I'm back, I'm back. All right, I was only gone for about 20 seconds. That's still way too long. Okay, so let's uh, hop right over to this bag that I'm sitting right here. And there's not that much in this one, but should be good stuff. What'd I pay? Um, it says I paid $136 and I spent $90 on glassware. Guess I have no idea. That must have been for something else, and somebody just... What would have I spent $90 on? How long ago was this? This was uh, three days ago. What did I spend $90 on at Goodwill? I don't remember, guys. Um, so, the first item we have here is a nice pair of shorts. And why did I pick up shorts right now? I don't know. But they were half off. These guys were only 2 bucks. Great brand. Under Armour. It's hard to see the logo white on white. Here's a better view. Size 36 Under Armour. And they were just nice shorts for 2 bucks. I figured they'll sell for more than $2. I mean, I'll make money on them. I don't know how much. And also, it's hard to find clean clothing that's white. So, I don't know. I feel like there's less white clothing on eBay that's in great shape. Next, awesome, awesome brand, guys. Columbia. And this is cool because it says GRT right there. That means it's something special. It's almost like their PFG line. And it's vented with mesh lining, long sleeve, green, kind of like a fishing hunting shirt. Uh, what did I pay for this? I paid $2.50 for that. So that was a good price right there. Now, surprisingly, guys, surprisingly, I had no idea. This is a Dunkin' Donuts visor. We have Dunkin' Donuts in Connecticut. Ooh, there's a little bit of a stain underneath. We have Dunkin' Donuts in Connecticut on every corner. Just in the town I live in alone, I think there's five or six Dunkin' Donuts. And in smaller towns in Connecticut, I've seen up to three to four. Uh, the town I moved from, very small town, had three Dunkin' Donuts in it. And actually, no, I had four Dunkin' Donuts in it because one was in a gas station. So this stuff is everywhere. And I had no clue. I paid $3 for this visor. It is selling on eBay for around 30 bucks. What? So, um, I might have to go to Dunkin' Donuts and buy everybody's visors off them for like five bucks a piece. Uh, <laughs> let's see what this is. 
another really great brand and a great size uh, and a great material. So this is 80% cotton, 20% wool right there. That's a good uh, key factor. Next, it says made in USA. That is another good factor. Next, it's a size double XL. Bigger the sizes, usually sell for more. And the brand, guys, Viella. Whoop. Right here. Viella or Viella, whatever you want to call it. But this right here, these, I paid five bucks for this, but these shirts tend to sell for around 25 to $30 uh, pretty consistently. They have a pretty good sell through. So I really, I actually really enjoy selling those. Next, another pair of shorts. Um, I was just picking up shorts. Were these my size? Is this why you picked them up? Yeah, these were my size. So I figured if they don't sell, whatever. And guys, the exact same brand, Columbia GRT size medium. And these were $4. But they're just nice, basic shorts. I figure, hey, you might even be able to bundle up this shirt and shorts. I wouldn't do that. But pretty cool pair of shorts right there for four bucks. And then last item is another Columbia. But I got this for myself, guys. It's Columbia, size medium. It, I paid five bucks for it, I believe. Yeah, I paid five bucks. Now, it might honestly sell for a little bit. But take a look at this. Look at how good I look in this thing right here. Bang. Ooh, I'm wearing a button up on button up, but this, I mean, it just looks like me. I, and it looks like I'm wearing like a little pink shirt underneath. This shirt is pretty much pink. It's more salmon colored, but I really like this. I figured for five bucks, I'm going to treat myself. And I did. I treated myself. So I'm going to answer some questions real quick. And maybe I'll show off one more bag if you guys really want me to. We'll see. So let's go into the questions. All right. Um, Jason Aiken says he just found two Spirit Halloween prop on offer up for eighty dollars and on Saturday and already sold both for six hundred and fifty. Holy moly! At my local thrift store, there was actually a huge inflatable ghost. They wanted thirty bucks for it, and only one had been listed on eBay, but it sold it sold just a couple days prior for a hundred. And I don't know why I left it. I was like, ah. Eh, there's only one for sales history. I don't want to drop 30 bucks on this freaking ghost. It's like a big inflatable thing. I should have done it. It probably would have sold overnight because Halloween stuff is hot right now. And uh, I just didn't pull the trigger. I don't know why. That that was one of the dumbest things I've done uh, lately when it comes to picking things up at a thrift store. Um, Jay Braga says, have you done a video on how to take pics of clothing? I have. The video actually sucks, guys. I wouldn't recommend watching it. That was a while ago. Uh, my style of taking photos still isn't that good honestly um i don't have a lighting setup or anything i just use the light in this room on the back wall i'm not getting perfectly crisp white background yet i really need to invest in some i i actually do have some lighting but i don't really have space to set up the lighting yet so i don't really um my pictures on ebay aren't the best they're, they're not as great as they could be uh, mario asks if i iron clothing before shipping i do not if it's super, super, super wrinkled, I use this little steamer right here. It's called Your Power. Uh, it's the cheapest thing on Amazon because I didn't know if I would actually steam my clothes, so I just went with something cheap. And sometimes I steam, sometimes I just don't. Um, but that's how I do it. Uh, search Walking Dead Zombie Girl Halloween Props sold items. Okay, that I will definitely check that out. Jason White says, is it harder to source winter clothing rather than summer clothing? Uh not really. I mean, around me, there's a lot of clothing. I'm in Connecticut. Um, we get a lot of winter clothing up here because it gets colder, so a lot of people own coats and jackets and sweaters and things like that. So I find a lot of it. Uh, advice for a new seller, just start listing, really. Don't get all caught up on uh, research and this and that. I mean, it's good to research and find the actual value of your stuff, but I would recommend just list. Just list, 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 list. Spend one day, sit there for five hours and just list everything you got because you'll start to get death piles, like all those records that need to be taken care of and things like that. But I, I highly recommend just listing because I still pick up good deals when I see them, but it's not, if I have a lot of things sitting around me that need to go off to Amazon, that's more worth my time at the moment. If I'm all done with Amazon stuff, like I am with right now, I don't have many things to ship off to Amazon, then I can start working on the slower movers, things that make a little bit less money, a lot of people say, well, just don't pick up that kind of stuff, but it still brings in money, and I just like to have it as a fail-safe. Always got that stuff back there. Always going to make money from that, so it's good to have. Uh, better for picks, get more value. Yeah, definitely steaming clothing, uh, you will get more value if the pictures look better. 
Mario Berthley says, okay, I need to add a steamer if I want to get into selling clothing. Oh, yeah. Um, I just answered that. Let's see. Thrifty5050 Vet says, just sold my sealed Lego Batman on eBay. 20 oh, jeez. Okay, yeah, we already covered that. Um, how long does it take to set up an eBay store? I've been list. Uh, I've just been listing an item. Um, e setting up an eBay store takes seconds. Um, all right, let's see what we got. Here we go. Joey Lopez says, I started to sell used clothes and I'm buying Polo by Ralph, Levi's, L.L. Bean brands. I just learned, but I would like to know if someone, the average selling time. Yeah, okay, when you're picking up brands like Polo, Levi's, L.L. Bean, they're going to sit unless you price them low. Those markets are flooded. Uh, I was picking up a lot of that exact same stuff when I first started. Uh, you're going to have to sit on it. I can guarantee you some of it will sell within the 30 days, but the majority of it will not sell if you're priced, you know, at what you want to get. You're going to have to bring the prices down on a lot of those items just because the market is so flooded. The pictures have to be really nice. The items need to be really good, really clean to get them to actually move. Uh, XX, the Bugman XX says anywhere from immediately to a year or more. Don't sit and look at them. It'll drive you crazy. Yeah, these bins back here loaded with clothes that have been sitting for well over a year. My entire eBay store is actually on auction mode right now. So I normally do uh, fixed price 30 days, but everything I have is on auction to get some of the stuff out of here. And whatever doesn't sell, I'm, I have such a hard time because I spent, you know, five bucks a piece on a lot of these clothing because things are expensive in Connecticut. And a lot of these clothes I know can sell for, you know, 20 bucks, but they're just not moving. I was debating whether or not to list everything at my buying price, $5 and add shipping, and then just throwing it on auction to get this stuff out of here just because I need to make room and I'd like to get rid of it, but I don't know what to do yet. Um, DJ Q says, I can source 50 items in about an hour or so. I want to hit the bins, but I need the 250 listings. Yeah, we have bins here, but I already have so much crap that... I don't really go to the bins too often. Joel Lopez does Okay, let's see. Joel Lopez says, should I just keep buying clothing and forget about the listings? The thing I'm used to flip is electronics in less than five days. I'm new to use clothing niche, just wondering. Clothing will take a lot, 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 lot longer than electronics. Just got to get used to it. Um, what I recommend is list all the clothing you have and then go out and buy more and then list everything you have. I don't even follow that advice. It's hard to follow that advice. Cause sometimes you're out, you see Goodwill, you want to stop, you end up with a cart full of clothing. But still, list what you got. Uh, any must-need things to start on eBay? Well, I do have items down below in my description, things that I actually use when I'm selling. So uh, I'm actually looking at them right now. Things that I use are like poly bags, which I use to store my clothing, um, just like this. I take them and I put them in a clear poly bag so they stay clean. I don't get dog hair on them. And then I put them into a um, gray poly bag to ship something like this. And then I ship them off to the customer and they stay clean. They're good. I like using things like that. Uh, I also see for eBay, a lot of these things are for Amazon, but also for eBay, Scotty peelers, uh, just these little plastic things. I actually have one right here. They work amazingly. Here it is. Someone that bites their nails, I bite my nails a lot. Uh, these things are great for getting the stickers off of if you're buying hard goods. I cannot live without them. Um, that's about it that I really, you know, must have things for eBay. You could use a steamer, you could use all these things, but those are really the main things I use for eBay. For Amazon, I mean, I highly recommend if you're selling video games and CDs to get a disc cleaner, even for DVDs on eBay. Um, I, I have a disc cleaner. It's a JFJ Easy Pro thing. Works amazing. Amazing. It's paid for itself ten times over, a thousand times over already. Um, also, I see that I have um, barcode scanners, clean uh, saran wrap. I also use a few more things that aren't listed down there, but that's just kind of the stuff that I use. Um, T. Atchison says, "Can you explain what sell-through rate means? Basically, how fast things are moving. So, let's say it has a slow sell-through rate." That means that maybe there is um, a thousand items listed on eBay, only a hundred of them moved. So that's 10% sell through. That is not very great. Now let's say there's a uh, hundred of an item on eBay and 90 of them moved in that you know 90, 30 day period. That means it has a 90% sell through, which is very good. Odds are when you pick it up listed on eBay, it will sell that first time you list it. Odds are with something that has a 10% sell through, you have a one out of 10 chance really of your item selling 
over someone else's. Um, Dustin Doyle says, try setting a 50% off sale and making it at a profitable sell price. I did $30 and 50% off most of my shirts. It has helped. Yeah, that's interesting. I, I have thought about putting a lot of my older items at 50% off to just get them to move. Um, I might have to do that. I have a lot of football gear that hasn't moved, surprisingly, like a nice Eagles jacket, a nice uh, Patriots things. I just picked up a cool vintage starter Jets shirt uh, sweater. So hopefully that stuff moves. Um, we'll go over one more bag of clothing um, real fast here just to get to that 30-minute mark, and then I'm going to head out. I just wanted to get live just because I didn't put out a video, and I should be editing, but my laptop's been really slow lately. So I haven't felt like editing a video. My laptop has been, like, so horribly slow. I don't know what's wrong with it. I've tried cleaning it, doing all these things. It's pretty old, so I do need to upgrade my laptop. So, All right, first item here, Columbia, of course. This is Columbia River Lodge, size XL. And uh, let's actually pull up my webcam so I can see myself. Here we go. Columbia, right there. It says River Lodge right there. Not 100% sure what that means, but it's specialty. It should be good. Look how cool this shirt is with the fish. I like the color. Hopefully it sells for a good amount. I paid $2 for it, so who cares? Um, next, for $8, and I'll pay $8 for this brand all day long, Vineyard Vines, size XL. Really nice button-up. And also, guys, with the whale on the chest, this should be a $30 sale. Next, uh for $10. Now, I paid up on this. I don't really like to spend $10 on this brand, but still, Vineyard Vine, size XL. I don't know why this one was priced at $10, um, but it does have the whale on the shirt, so it should sell for $30. i am not going to make as much, obviously, $2 less, um, but it still should make some good money. Right here, another Vineyard Vines, but it's a size extra small. This one was also $8, but had the whale on the chest, and I never really pick up extra smalls. I have no idea how well it will sell. Normally, try to stay medium or higher, but we'll see. All right, right here. Here is another Vineyard Vines extra small from that same person. $8 again, well on the chest. That's always good. As you guys can tell, I scored very good at this thrift store. Uh, when I walked in, I was just, this bag is from a certain thrift store. And when I walked in, I was like, holy cow. Like, just on the rack, I was like, bam, 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 score, score, score. Now, guys. You see these Vineyard Vines I'm grabbing and these nice brands. There is a lot more of this, um, you know, good good brands and good things at thrift stores that I see around me all the time. But a lot of them are priced too high, so I have to leave them, sadly. So, like, these Vineyard Vines, yeah, there's four right here, but there were probably closer to 10, maybe even 12 Vineyard Vine shirts. But some of them were just priced at 12 to 15 bucks, so I had to leave them. Um, and... When it comes to brands like Patagonia and stuff, sometimes I'll see a rack of them, and it happens all the time near me. Connecticut is just loaded with this kind of stuff. I'll see Patagonia jackets, maybe three of them, back to back to back, but they're 30 bucks each. I actually just had to leave a brand new with tags, um, Vineyard Vines sweater. The thing was so nice. Had a new price of $125, but they wanted $40 for it, guys. 40 bucks? I was like, man, and I see that all the time around me, so... I would pick up more if I could, but I can't. Here we go for $4. It's that brand again, Viella or Viella. Not really sure how to pronounce it, but this is also an XL cotton wool. But this one's made in China, not made in USA. I don't know if that will affect the sell price. I didn't even notice that, so we'll see. And then, what is this? Oh, here we go. Here's a Patagonia, size large. This one was actually only $4.95. That's a good price for it. Um, it feels different. It doesn't feel like cotton. Maybe it is. It's, nope, it's 55% hemp, 45% organic cotton. So that's unique, different, should sell for good money. Uh, what else we got in here? Another one of my favorite brands that I always show you guys that I sell all the time. Peter Millar, size large. Now, it's good when you have this stretchy material. See how much it stretches? You want this material when you're picking up Peter Millar. You don't want the other material. Trust me. $2.95, good price. You do not want the other material because the other material, just, just regular cotton and stuff, doesn't sell very well. Doesn't sell almost at all for me. So I would recommend staying away from that. Um, 
Here is another Peter Millar. This is the old logo. Old logo stuff doesn't sell as well. This is also 100% cotton. But, like I said, it's stretchy. Stretchy will still do well. I paid $3 for this one. So not too bad. And the last item in here, right at that 30 minute mark, is Tume Bohume, or Tommy Bahama. Very cool. And the reason why I picked this up is size XL, and it's a short sleeve polo that I've never actually seen a Tommy Bahama short sleeve polo. And look at that. Look at the marlin right there on the chest. But guys, that price of $10, it was half off, so it was only five bucks. It's like, you know what? For five bucks, oh, it's a double XL polo. It's just cool enough, and it has that big pink marlin right on the chest. Should do well. It actually smells pretty good. Whoever was wearing it before smells smells good. So, very cool. That is everything uh, from that thrift store. Now, guys, the trunk of my car is literally packed with bags that I haven't gotten around to even taking out of my car yet. I told myself I have to leave that stuff in my trunk until I list these bags of clothing. Otherwise, I'm going to keep buying stuff and this room is going to get crowded again. So, uh, that's kind of the method I'm using to stop myself from going to the thrift store. I do have another bag over there with Patagonia coats in it. That's really nice, but it's buried, so I don't want to grab it right now. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to do that. Comment down below if you have any questions. Subscribe if you haven't already. This is Thrift School signing out. See ya. Mwah.